I lie to you, the show where lying is the order of the day. On Lee's team tonight, it's an actress who's uh, well used to lying. How else could she convince the nation she enjoyed kissing Sid Owen? It's Patsy Palmer! <laughs> And uh, an actor who, uh, who, after starring in the movie In the Loop, is now on first-name terms with James Gandolfini. Unfortunately, James thinks he's called Steve and works in the props department. <laughs> it's Chris Addison! <laughs> and on David's team tonight, we have a comedian with the looks of a Greek god and the morals of a Greek waiter. It's John Bishop! <laughs> And, you know, I've had the honour of working with some great comic actresses in my time. But putting that to one side, here's half of Gavin and Stacey, it's Joanna Page! <laughs> so, to round one, Home Truths, where our panellists each read out a statement from the card in front of them. Uh, to make things harder, they've never seen the card before, so they've no idea what they'll be faced with. And it's up to the opposing team to sort the truth from the tosh. Uh, Patsy, you're first. Uh, Please reveal all. I got Wella the dog drunk on the set of EastEnders. <laughs> <laughs> David's team. Is she telling the truth? Right. What? Uh, what? What was the? What's out? EastEnders? <laughs> <laughs> what? Thank you. Excellent. Um, uh, what's the alcohol in question? What did you? What vodka. were you? Vodka. Vodka. How much vodka? <laughs> It was just, you know, like a small glass. That's small, is it? <laughs> <laughs> small glass of vodka. How did you... glass, it was one of those small, round, like, flat bottom little glasses. Um, just a glass, basically. You just described a glass. <laughs> How did you uh, get it in his mouth? No, I didn't put it in his mouth. We put it in his bowl. But... He thought it was water? Yeah. How far through it did he get before he <laughs> realised it wasn't the whole water? Bowl. I would have thought at some point in the drinking process, as a dog, you're going to go, something here is different. <laughs> so if you're a dog and you're used to drink of water and then you smell your, you smell your bowl, it's full of vodka, you think, well, this smells like a girl from Birmingham. It, uh, <laughs> it's clearly not water. Smell, that's it. That's what dogs do all the time. Exactly. <laughs> Why have you got a bottle of vodka on the set of EastEnders? No, we didn't have a bottle of vodka, we just had a glass of vodka. It's not anymore, but when we first started working there, all of the bottles of drink in the pub were real alcohol. That strikes me as a flawed policy. <laughs> <laughs> not then. Now you couldn't yeah, have it, yeah. health and safety, but then there was real drink in the pub. Is that why Dan was so dirty? Cos everyone was just pissed. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> The vodka sufficiently diluted with the water that the dog doesn't notice. Yeah. And presumably the whole place is sticky and booze anyway, with all, what, with all the pissed-up actors for getting their lines. <laughs> just noticed that he went a little bit funny and he laid down. It wasn't like he was, like, punching people in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you know. He did get really worried because he kind of did lay down. He was very quiet and a bit like when he died. So we knew he could do that. <laughs> To be honest, I think it's true because it's the sort of thing I do. So what are you going to say? <coughs> you think it's? I like... think if if you haven't at some point tried to make a dog drunk, you're not normal. <laughs> I think we think that almost anyone, given enough time sitting in the same room with some vodka and a dog, <laughs> will either put the vodka in the dog or the other way round. <laughs> so we're saying true, I think. Yeah, yeah. saying it's true. true. Yeah. Okay, Patsy Palmer, is it the truth or is it a lie? It's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> It is a big, big lie. Patsy did not get Wellard the dog drunk on the set of EastEnders. Of course, uh, Bianca was there when Wellard was put to sleep after eating a chocolate. Uh, she held him in her arms, sobbing as he died. And Patsy, they don't give Oscars for soap operas, but if they did, <laughs> eh, they'd have given one to Wellard, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joanna, you're next. I recite my times tables every night before bed. Why? Um, because I th I've always been rubbish at maths. It just doesn't go in my head. My brain doesn't compute that way. And I can learn loads and loads of lines if I'm acting, but um, I've never been able to get my times tables in. And I thought 
Before I die, I want to be able to do my times tables. And also, <laughs> when you go to a sale and you go shopping, um, when it says 75% off a dress or 40%, I can't work that out. I know it's thick and I feel embarrassed because I'm sitting next to you and you've got a degree. I'm, I'm a famous mathematician. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, my secret identity is, is percentage man. <laughs> but I thought, I don't want to die and not be able to do my times tables. Could you recite them table. now, then? Before I go to bed, my husband lies next to me and I say, uh, I do them, and then I say, it's right, nice to see the romance, isn't it? <laughs> 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 I tell you what, dear, it's cold in the valleys, isn't it? Don't worry, I've got a game that'll cheer us up. <laughs> What do you start? What's the first one? It's not your two times table, is it? Yeah, it oh is. I've gone as far as about my six, and I get to seven. Don't go in. Well, seven uh, times five. Um, I'm going to... Oh, God, this is so embarrassing. Right. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I'm doing it. That's why I'm learning yeah, that. Yeah, but you might have dyscalculus, like me, so you're not fit. I have what? Dyscalculus, same as dyslexia, so that's what I've got. Oh, dyscalculus. oh yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've got shorterless. <laughs> well, that's true. <great. laughs> Don't you come round here giving it any of that, sweetheart. You'll be barred from this bloody pub, all right? <laughs> but that is true. You might have that. You're not thick. Oh, yeah. There's only kids watching. You're not thick if you can't add up. Mm. Well, you're a bit thick, aren't you? Well, I mean, it's a bit late, isn't it? You're not bright, let's put it like that. <laughs> Do you, have, do you do it every single night without fail? Even if you come in really pissed, you still do it? You're getting on the times table? Yeah, does. yeah, I still try to do it, yeah. Oh, you my God, if, if, the, if there's a dress for 80 quid and it says 50% oh, off, <laughs> will you struggle? Right, well, oh, this is right. No, that would be 40, that 40 pounds, wouldn't it? Yeah. But I've got to check with you when I say it. I can't just say straight off. What I often find, actually, is in shops, when they take a percentage <laughs> off the original price, yeah. they will also tell you <laughs> the subsequent <laughs> price. It's actually it's quite a minority of shops that make you work it out. <laughs> if you get it wrong, that's what you pay. <laughs> Charge. They go, I hope we don't get one of those dyscalculus people in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was 50p. <laughs> so, Lee, what are you going to say? Is she you, telling you? What have you cracked? Which one I've do cracked, you think you've... I've cracked one, two, three, what? four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> do you mean you've learned how to count? <laughs> OK, you've cracked the ones, the twos. And, and, and I cracked seven the other night. Right, give us the seven times table. <laughs> but I can't do it now, I can't remember it. One seven is seven. Oh, this is all foul. This is like my worst nightmare. One seven is seven, two seven to fourteen, three seven to twenty-one, four seven to twenty-eight, five sevens. Now this is where it all foul. Five seven to thirty-five. <laughs> six seven to forty-two. Seven sevens to forty. Right, this is forty-nine. Forty-nine. Eight sevens to fifty-four. 52? Oh, ah, yeah. 50, <laughs> 56. 56. Okay. What was that? 9 7 to 56. 10 7 to 70. 11 7 to 77. 12 7 to 84. 80, 89. Right, so. Wait, 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 wait. So. Don't, don't get out. It's not a Jeremy show. seven times three. I think this could be a cracking new round. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, is it the truth? I think it's. I think it's a lie. Why do you think it's a lie? Why would anybody do that at night? That's the last thing you need before you go to bed. I think it's true. Patsy thinks Patsy's it's true. Patsy's going to stick on true. We'll go with Patsy, though. All right, then, true. so, Joe, truth or lie? That is... True! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's true. Uh, actually, uh, Joe, I've got a mental arithmetic uh, problem for you. If you take one husband and recite multiplication tables at him seven nights a week, how many divorce lawyers will he need? <laughs> John, you're next. I had a job where we started each day with a motivational song. Lee's team. What, what was this job? It was... Don't give him time to think of the song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the job, the job was selling vacuum cleaners. What was the song? There was a few songs. What? Was it, uh, <laughs> and was what was your favourite? My favourite one was, uh, we sell KB cleaners, we sell KB cleaners, so, so, we sell KB cleaners. <laughs> was it on the phone? Was it in a shop? No, it was... <laughs> It was, uh, it was door-to-door, -door <laughs> vacuum cleaner, cleaner selling. 
Door-to-door -door vacuum. What year was this? 1946? <laughs> <laughs> Where was it? This would have been... Well, my first job was when I left school, so it would have been in the 80s. What was your other song? You said you had a few. Oh, it was a long time ago, but... Oh, we got... um... We're fine, we've got but, all but night. What used to happen <laughs> is, is you used to go in, there was always a fight on a Monday morning for the tambourine, and then the boss would say, here's the songs for today, and there'd be, like, three or four songs. And we'd have to sing the songs, and then, and then we'd have to face the window and throw all our negative thoughts out the window so we could go on the shot. <laughs> so we used to say. Why don't you just hoover them up, the negative <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> Did you get commission on, like, how many hoovers you sold? Uh, yeah. No, you know when you see those adverts in the paper, it'll be like, uh, are you sad and lonely? I used to be like that, but now I've got a speedboat, two girlfriends at a house in France. If you want to be like me, phone Chaz after seven. It was one of those. <laughs> well, I did work for a sales company when I was 16, but they used to give us a bottle of wine and a packet of Pro Plus every morning to motivate us, so... <laughs> they do! Why do Pro Plus? Plus? <laughs> Whoa, you were pissed and on drugs selling life insurance! <laughs> They did, so you never know. What do we so think? You don't know. I think he's lying. I think he's lying, Patsy. Let's say lying. Be, All right, saying lying. The team yeah. says a lie. saying lying. Okay, so uh, John Bishop, uh, were you telling the truth just then, or were you in fact telling a lie? I was telling the truth. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it was true. Which means, at the end of that round, it's uh, Lee in the lead by three points to two. <laughs> Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. Now, this week, each of Lee's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest, and it's up to David's team to spot who's telling the truth. So, please welcome this week's special guest, Mark. <laughs> Welcome, Mark. Uh, so, first off, Patsy, what is Mark to you? This is Mark, and he is currently teaching me to swim to overcome my fear of the water. Right. Lee? <laughs> this is Mark, and he started the pub darts team that I play in, but I had to ask him to leave cos he was so bad. <laughs> right, so, finally, Chris, your relationship with Mark. This is Mark. He is my next-door neighbour. He lost a bet of £200 that In The Loop would win an Oscar, so I gave him my wheelbarrow. <laughs> right, well, there we are. What could be simpler? Um, Patsy's swimming teacher, who cured her fear of water, Lee's sacked darts teammate, or Chris's neighbour, who likes a bet. David's team, where would you like to start? Um, <laughs> darts. How can anyone be bad at darts? Well, well, what sort of standard of darts yeah. playing are you expecting in this team? Two out of three darts in the board would have been good sufficient. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to him to track him out? Patsy, can you be Mark? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this might involve acting, but just go with it. <laughs> Mark? Yeah. That's you. Yeah, you're Mark. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know this whole darts thing? Yeah. And you keep missing the board? Mark, look at me when I'm talking to you, Mark. <laughs> we don't like the fact that you keep trying to get the uh, dog drunk. And also, <laughs> we, uh, we were going to have to let you go because, unfortunately, you keep missing the board. I cannot imagine you would I say that to him. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a chance you're going to say, listen, mate, yo, you set up the dark scene, but Big Lee Max in the room, get off. <laughs> Also, how seriously did you take this darts team? I take team? darts very seriously. <laughs> Do ask, you? Ask me any checkout. I, I don't know what that means. All right. <laughs> 151. Oh, well, that's, that's your classic uh, treble 20, treble 17 tops. Don't know whether oh. that's true or not, but of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then 164. Oh, that'll be treble 20, treble 18 bull. Okay. 18. I don't know how... Oh, what's about 180? You, you worked that out. <laughs> 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 he's, he's getting them right, he's getting them right. Is he getting the numbers right? right. Just, just say 180 again, Joe. 180! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've just engaged with foreplay. <laughs> That's all I know. She's oh. <laughs> missed 180, we're on for a good one. <laughs> Wait till I get to 69. <laughs> 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 They'll be 
set up another team? Did he just walk away and say, I'll give up darts because Lee's He struggled to set up the other team, apparently, because he was going round saying, I'd like to set up a darts team. Have you had any experience? Well, I just recently left one because I was thrown out because I was terrible. <laughs> Sorry, so <laughs> like <a great> scene. <laughs> That's like the usual next question when somebody says, I'm thinking of setting up a darts team. Have you had any experience? You're either somebody very <laughs> interested in playing a bit of recreational darts or not. Recreational you're not going to sort of go, have you had much experience? <laughs> I don't know, I'm a busy man. I want to play in a high-level darts Dart team. Darts is a serious sport. <laughs> David, do you want, do you want to move on? Yes, OK. Um, well, Chris, why did you feel the need when your next-door neighbour had bet some money on uh, a film you were involved in winning an Oscar? Why did you think you needed to make up the loss for him well, with the gift of a wheelbarrow? The, I live in a terrace house, and the houses next door to me are flats. It's a communal garden, and Mark is the only one who ever bothers to look after them. Mark's never seen the film. But he went to, to the bookies, put 200 quid on it, and uh, lost it. In the conversation that we were discussing uh, this, uh, it came up that uh, he needed a wheelbarrow, and uh, and I felt I felt bad because he'd sort of staked it. Cause so if so he just said I could do with a leg over, you just said, "Well, there's me missus." You know what I mean? I feel really bad about the bet. No, John. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know how things work extreme. where you live, but wheelbarrows and women are not the same thing. Exactly. <laughs> where I'm from. You may well have given the wheelbarrow to assist him in clearing off the communal gardens, but surely you didn't give him the wheelbarrow as compensation for your film not winning the Oscar. I sort of intended to offer that he might borrow it. It kind of got out of hand. <laughs> OK. <laughs> now, Patsy, you, you have a fear of, of water, is that right? I did. Right. Yeah. What, what, have you had this all your life, or was there uh, some harrowing experience that you could amuse people yeah, with? Yeah, I think so, but I didn't really know that I had it. Right. How did you not know you were scared of what surrounds us? Because um, I've always <laughs> swam, but I just... You, you swam, a... but you didn't know you were shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you wouldn't refuse to swim? No, I swam. So why We had do you... to swim when we were kids. We just used to get... Put in, it was freezing cold, don't you remember? When they, the teachers used to make you get in. And that was worse then, because it was freezing cold, kids would be crying, swimming, <laughs> but they did actually Christ, make you get sounds in. Sounds like you're talking about Dunkirk. <laughs> <laughs> so you already could swim before you encountered Mark to teach you to swim? Yeah. <laughs> Right. How was your people? first lesson? When Mark said, mar right, yeah. let's have a go at the water, and you did 20 lengths, what did he say? <laughs> I didn't do 20 lengths. So you decide you're going to have some lessons in order to improve the efficiency of, my, of your swimming, and then you get into the water and you realise, oh, my God, I hate it here. <laughs> this has been the problem. It wasn't the efficiency of my kicking and arms, it was that I hated it. <laughs> Actually, quite scared of water. That's why I don't swim very well. Well, you know, I don't breathe, breathe what did underwater. You do to help you no, none of us breathe underwater. I mean, that's that's a standard human thing. No, you can breathe underwater. No, you can't. Oh, they should have been left underwater. This is basic stuff, Taylor. Just because I throw you out the darts team and you're looking for a new career, tell the people they can breathe underwater. David, How was this? We, uh, we, 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 we need an answer. <laughs> Lee gives every impression of knowing a bit about darts, but no, I'm, I'm perhaps not the best person to scrutinise that. He knows his darts, that doesn't mean that story's true. I believe Chris, because of the wheelbarrow, or I believe Patsy, because Mark looks quite built. So what are you going to say then, David? Who are you, you going to go for? Um, I'll go with Patsy. Yeah, I, go I with think Patsy. I think Patsy, yeah. So, you're saying Patsy's uh, swimming instructor. Mark, would you like to reveal your true identity? I am Patsy's swimming instructor. I will help to get over her fear of water. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, the, the, the first thing I want to clear up is this, this, this thing of telling her that it is possible to breathe underwater. <laughs> That's not quite true. She does very good front crawl. Really? Good breathing technique and breathes out underwater, doesn't breathe in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Which brings us to our final round, Quick Fire Lies, in which our panellists lie not only through their teeth, but also against the clock. And again, they don't know whether they're about to read out a true fact about themselves or a made-up lie that they've never seen before. And uh, we're starting with... Uh, David. Ah, possession. Ah, now, take out a small box underneath the uh, desk there. 
Have a look inside and show us what's there. <laughs> Smooth it. <laughs> <clears throat> this is my special travel dressing gown. <laughs> I'm contractually obliged to finish the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one item I always pack when I go on holiday. <clears throat> could you, uh, first things first, could we have the full modelling of the <laughs> dressing gown, please? Give us yeah. a nice twirl. Oh. Can we smell it? I think you should come out here, David, so you can <laughs> Enjoy the space. Uh, well, he's having trouble putting it on. It's, yeah. Uh... Yeah. Well, he's not abroad, he's confused. It's, um, have you forgotten the cord? The cord is missing. <clears throat> Yeah, just hold it as though it were done up, so we get a proper okay, idea. Right <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you mind smoking a pipe and solve a crime? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love that. Can I ask, David, where did you get it from? Uh, 1924. I think, <laughs> I think it's from uh, Marks and Spencers. Is in it? What, what did, did you say? It's my special travel uh, dressing gown. Yes. I don't point? know if travel dressing gown is a technical term. But I have two dressing gowns. This is one. The other is a, is a, is a thicker toweling dressing gown, Ooh. which takes up more space in a suitcase. You take pajamas. Do you wear anything under it? Or I, 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 yes, I usually. I feel sick. I, <laughs> <laughs> I usually. What I don't do is I don't tend to wear it over, you know, like normal clothes like this. This is like the worst well, sexy chat line I've ever had. <laughs> I don't I'm know. naked under here. <laughs> to be honestly, I don't know why you come into so many encounters with me expecting arousal. <laughs> Does that go with you at any trip or certain trips? No, only if I'm going to stay the night somewhere. Yeah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't think you'd go to... I didn't think you were walking around Dixon's in it. <laughs> I'd like you to say a yes, please. Is he telling the truth or is he constructing a lie? Patsy? True. You think it's true? Yeah. Chris? Based on, on, the, uh, on the design of the dressing gown and his demeanour, I think they fit. <laughs> so, Lee, what's it going to be? I, I'll, I'll go with my team. So You're going to say true. it's true. Yeah. David Mitchell, is it true or is it a lie? It is true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's true. Uh, that is David's uh, special oh. dressing gown. It's and just a dressing gown. No, I think that's my special dressing gown. Like, I think it's got a personality. <laughs> it's David's special dressing gown. You are never going to get away from that now. Everyone who sees this show will look at you and see that look, forever. Basically, my entire image has been destroyed by this show. <laughs> I was like a cool guy who was into music and modern art before this show, before all the stuff about dressing as an 18th century nobleman and having a little bell came out. <laughs> <laughs> the, travel, the travel dressing gown is just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> So, just so we're in no doubt, that is David's special dressing gown. <laughs> Next. Uh, Lee. I once lost a game of swing ball to a chimpanzee. <laughs> David's team. OK. Um... Why were you with the chimpanzee? I was visiting a zoo in South Africa, and the trick that the chimpanzee could do was play swing ball. And we all took it in turns to have a go. And I'd had a few to drink, and he beat me. <laughs> what time of day was this? Time of day? Yes, I... Before the monkey's bedtime. <laughs> Are you refusing to answer? I'm not refusing, but I'm thinking about it for a while, because right. I don't know if you mean South African time or English time. It's very <laughs> similar, but I think there's an hour's difference. Do you mean the South African time? I mean the South African, the local okay. time. The local yes. time. I believe... Oh, sorry, you've thrown me a bit, because most the time I tell people... Time. I... Local time <laughs> in the zoo on the occasion of your match. I've been using this, I can't lie, over the years, I've been using this anecdote with the yeah. darts and things. Oh, did I ever tell you, lads, about the time I played yeah. uh, swing ball with a chimpanzee? No one's ever said, what time of day was this? <laughs> <laughs> so he threw me for a second. Yeah. Most people go, chimpanzee swing ball? <laughs> tell us more, you interesting person. <laughs> I suppose what's different is that why, when you tell that as an anecdote in the pub, people go, it's polite to go along with the bullshit that Lee talks. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you in South Africa? Don't, don't tell me! No, the, 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 the time was dead! The time was dead! 
day. The time of day. Uh, Make up a time of day. I, I couldn't beat a chimpanzee at swim ball because ball, I was drunk. How am I going to remember the time of day? Well, I'm, well, well, I'm, I'm terrible at this, and this only quarter to three. three. <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is why were you going round a zoo pissed? <laughs> Post-pub trip. Oh, oh, let's have a few, Giles. I'll tell you what, well, we I fancy a trip round the zoo. <laughs> around about one in the morning, they get the chimp out. <laughs> the chimp takes people on a swing ball. <laughs> the chimp likes nothing more than a load of pissed contestants. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't all go to the British Museum for stag weekends. <laughs> Zoos aren't open after the pub. <laughs> no, no, we went, we, it was afternoon. You know, we've been drinking since the you morning. You had a boozy lunch. We had a Did boozy you? morning. We started at 11. Arrest me. Right. <laughs> Why didn't you go and see, like, some strippers? Wouldn't a load of men well, go, we thought, oh, we were that drunk. We thought we were. We thought we were. Before someone follows the RSPCA, it was a consenting chimpanzee. We're not. It wasn't. Forced. I don't think he'd said, "Look, you know, yeah. I quite like it here at the zoo." But really, what would make it peachy is if I could take on some of the uh, visitors, ideally at swing ball, badminton at a push. I don't think that happened. Well, he had no choice. Well, uh, since he, he had no choice. He That's did, my I point. Did. Right? <laughs> is it the truth or is it a lie? I thought it was a lie, right. but it seems the sort of thing he'd do. <laughs> I think it's a lie, but I'm happy to be. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go with lie. lie. We'll go yeah. with lie. We all say it's a lie. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Lee. Truth or lie? It is in fact a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, it is a lie. Uh, Lee has never lost a game of swing ball to a chimpanzee. Uh, for the record, it was Scrabble. <laughs> That noise signals time's up and it's the end of the show. And I can reveal that uh, David's team have five points, but Victor's with seven are Lee's team. <laughs> but, of course, it's not just a team game. And my individual lie of the week is Joanna Page! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Joanna Page. And let me assure you that that's not favouritism because she's Welsh. Diana, Joe, Croesim, Indy, Clagan, Audi, Vida, Lagan, Gurney, Thin, Audi, Vida. No, I see the club here to get a fringe, I'm nice here.